All right, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be the first of a few videos I'm going to film during this whole coronavirus thing. Um, I hope everybody's healthy. My heart goes out to any families affected by this. But uh, I'm actually out of work from this, so that gives me some time to do some of this stuff. Um, so first things first, if there's anything you'd like to see from me, and I don't know, if you have any ideas for cool videos, let me know down below. Um, and then also if you have any questions or if I miss something on here, please also shoot me uh, a comment down there and we'll have a little discussion. Um, so this is my 2003 TJ. Um, it's an X, so it's bare bones except it's got a 4.0. Um, it's automatic, so it, it has literally nothing, no factory fo uh, fog lights. Um, it had like literally nothing. So um, we're going to start at the rear here and uh, we're going to work forward. So I guess we'll go bottom to top. So we got the stock gas tank under there. I actually do have a motorbelt fuel cell sitting in my room at home because um, I do plan on stretching this thing. So I, I went the fuel cell route. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I really like the uh, Genrite tanks. But anyway, uh, we have a Barnes four-wheel drive like fascia thing with uh, some D-rings. The uh, guy I bought this thing from, he actually had the D-rings on here and he just gave them to me and I thought that was perfect because they're already blue. Um, if you have D-rings on your Jeep, you're going to want to make sure you use a screwdriver or a wrench or something to tighten those things down. If you don't have these uh, tightened down, they can fall off on the road and it's just no good. Um, so coming up, we have Max Built Trail Tails. These things are pretty cool. Um, I got some rusty bolts in there. I need to get some new bolts in the, for that. Um, I have a video on these if you want to check that out. Coming over, we have the Moto Built uh, relocation delete plate bracket thing. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Factory hardtop. So, something I forgot to mention in those last clips was that um, this Jeep does have JK Rubicon 44s under it. They're essentially fully built minus shafts. Um, 513 gears and stock lockers and then also very important for me to mention is that Goonies Garage did that swap for me um, two years ago and I have had zero issues with any of the work that they did um, I had an uh, I think my transmission oil pan was leaking but they obviously did not touch that when they were swapping the axles sorry I gotta keep cutting these clips out I'm self filming this but uh coming down the side Still have stock flares for now. Um, I do have some future plans for that. I think I'm going to make another video talking about that whole thing. But uh, stock flares. Um, we can talk about this later. That's it back here. <laughs> we have LOD rock sliders. These things are stout as heck. You could absolutely jack up the whole Jeep by these things. And they don't even have reinforcement plates inside. Um, one thing I did do, and I'm going to do it for any armor that goes on here is I put some uh, rubber, or it's actually foam, some sort of weather stripping behind there so no water can get behind. And uh, it cleans up that gap really nicely. Um, stock full doors, pineapple sticker. For anybody that's curious about the pineapple sticker, um, I don't know, I just really like pineapple as a fruit and it just kind of looks cool and it's a complex thing and I, I don't know, I just like pineapples, so. All right, so up in the front, there's a lot going on. This is actually like my favorite part of the Jeep. I think the front end on this Jeep is just, it's pretty freaking awesome looking. Um, so we'll start with the obvious. We have Poison Spider aluminum high lines. Um, these are the three inch flare. And I, I really like how they follow the body line and they, they like taper out. Um, so you have to trim the hood. Some Amazon special blinkers. Um, Truck light, LED headlights, these are made by Rigid Industries and they're just, they're, they're awesome for the price. Um, here we have the uh, Quick Latch Q, Q something 50s, these are like the middle range for the hood. Um, I love them, they work really nicely, they look super clean, bam, done. Um, coming down, we got Anti-Rock, I'm going to go over the suspension after this stuff. Um, this bumper is actually 
Um, 100% custom built from scratch by uh, Hofford Built. Um, you can find him on Instagram. He builds some really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, this is 100% from scratch, just from a picture, and uh, I love this thing. Um, so we have a Smitty Built winch. It's like a Gen 1 9,000 pound winch. I got it for like a hundred bucks and it came with like the rope and a fair lead and all the wiring so and it works so it is what it is. I'd really like to get a Warren on here one day or some sort of uh, American made one. I know some of the Warrens are actually exported or imported whatever you want to say but uh yeah truck light again, high lines, that's really it. This Jeep is super simple. I don't have any lights on here. Um, I do have my leads for uh, some rigid uh, radiance pods, but as of right now, they, I don't think they look good anywhere on here. So we got no lights on here. The truck lights are more than capable of taking care of that. All right, so under the hood, we have a bone stock 4.0. I have not touched this thing at all. Original injectors, original plugs probably. I should probably change those. Um, we have an intake that's just shoved on here. If you watch my Highline video, I have something on that. Um, the stock box doesn't really fit in here with the Highlines, at least not the Poison Spiders. The, uh, something to keep in mind too about the Highlines, the Gen Rights actually drop down a little bit so you have a little bit more room to play with. But um, otherwise, 100% stock, stock radiator, stock fluids, um, stock battery. There's there's really nothing to say. Um, I do have a KC Cyclone that's hooked up to the uh, light. I'm actually, let me grab the camera. Let me show that to you. So I hooked up a Cyclone, just some wires into the stock light right there. I just hooked the wires right around the leads for the light bulb in there because that has the uh, sensor for when the hood is up and down. So if you just hook the, the leads right over into the KC light, it, uh, it works perfectly. But uh, here's a better look at the intake. It's literally just shoved onto the stock tube. Um, it works fine. I don't like mud and driving in the rain too much, so I don't really have to worry about um, getting too much water up in there. Stock alternator. Here's some of the work that I've done for the high lines. Um, this is a Dorman washer fluid reservoir. I haven't 100% hooked it up because I need to uh, extend the wires for the pump. Um, for the pump, I just drilled out a hole in the bottom, shoved it in there with the grommet from the original one. Um, I need to make a mount for the TCM. Um, if anybody knows of anything that you know, I can mount this, it's hard because this is where the plug is and the threads are also in this side. But uh, yeah. Also hiding back here is a Rough Country MLC6. Um, I, w I really wanted an S-Pod, but the uh, price on them is just, I mean, I think it's worth it for the price. If you can afford it, you should absolutely go with an S-Pod. But that Rough Country one, I think it was like $150 or something like that. 100% um, worth it. Uh, it's super easy to set up and it, it just works. Um, other than that, there's nothing else going on under here. All right, I'm going to hold the camera and I'll take a minute to show you guys what's going on inside the Jeep here. Um, it's very basic. I made, uh, we'll start up top here. I made this like super cheesy CB radio thing with just uh, some PVC and then I figurated a uh, very large zip tie around it. Gets the job done. It's not exactly safe, but it works for the wheeling trip that I needed it for. Um, here is what the Rough Country switches look like. Made some little labels for them. Um, that spot is okay. I really like to put my phone up there. But to solve that, we have a ProClip USA phone mount. This thing is awesome. It's super easy to use. It just clips right in and it, it solidly holds your phone. And it's nice, you can wrap your cord around it and then just plug it right in. Works very well. Um, we got like some sort of JVC head unit. Um, I actually really like JVC's head units. Uh, stickers cable floor mats that suck these are rugged ridge floor mats i absolutely despise them we have some bed tread flooring which is actually going to come out because water somehow gets under there and it just rusts out the uh, interior 
And then I guess we could talk about the elephant in the room. These are the PRP Enduro Elites. They have the recliner option, uh, which is fine, except look how much movement there is in the back of the seat. It's kind of annoying. Um, they do not fit. This is after some custom bracketry that's down here. So these are Corbeau brackets. These are the stock sliders. Well, these are the sliders that come on the Corbeau uh, brackets, but a stock seat would bolt right up to them. But since the PRPs don't fit left and right, we had to get some stock, drill some holes in it, and then use these $50 L brackets from PRP and move and like, you know, so we moved the mounting hole over like an inch or so. And uh, just a just an absolute nightmare. They, they really have no business being in such a small Jeep like this. So uh, yeah, stock wheel and uh, let's go around the back now. All right, so in the rear, biggest thing I have back here is an ARB dual compressor. Um, it's a super easy spot and it keeps it out of harm's way as opposed to putting it under the engine bay. You do have to extend the wires a little bit, but it's not that not that big of a deal. Um, we got a battery jumper, no big deal. We have an Atlas 46 Yorktown tool roll. This thing is so cool. You need to keep some tools in here. It's on the strap, hold on. If you need to keep tools in your Jeep, this is the way to go. It fits so many things and then on the back side it's got these uh you know you can see them it's got like pouches for wrenches and stuff this thing is just so awesome um and then also i keep a just a you know basic like walmart special box uh ratchet strap back here stuff with all sorts of stuff air hoses fluids and uh, miscellaneous tools and uh stuff like that so then also hiding back here in my trunk is an 8-inch bazooka tube with the 100-watt amp and a football. <laughs> the uh, bazooka tube is awesome because you can unplug it super easy. It sounds good and, uh, you know, it is what it is. I did not mention that I have Polk 6.5-inch uh, speakers in the bar here. And I do have 5.25-inch speakers up in the dashes, the dash over there. Um, we got a fire extinguisher with a mount and stock roll bar. Yeah, and here's a better look at the bed liner. Did I mention that? Not sure if I mentioned that I have a monster lined interior. I forget what color this is, but I really, really like it. Um, and yeah, got some foam tiles down here because when you strap something down, it can sink in instead of sliding around. But yeah, super basic interior. So coming down to the rear, we have the JK44. We have Bilstein 5100 shocks. Um, and then I have three inch BDS coils from like my original lift kit. So yeah, they're pretty worn in. Um, all stock brakes and stuff like that. We have an ARB diff cover. I bought one axle with an ARB on it. So I figured I might as well get the matching one. Again, stock gas tank for now. I can't really get under there. There we go. You can kind of see, I got the TNT um, truss on there. And then hiding up, I don't know if I can get the camera in there. That track bar is like the original BDS track bar that came with this thing. You can see the mount hiding up, hiding up there. It's kind of hard to see. And this setup just barely rubs the back of the gas tank. I don't know if I can get the camera under there good enough for you to see. But yeah, it works. The uh, TNT trusses are very burly, so they're kind of cumbersome to fit under such a small Jeep like this. Let's see if I get this thing to focus. So it's not focusing at all. There we go, that's better. So you can get a little better look at the truss there. Luckily, I do have the uh, four link brackets already on the truss up there. So when I go to do suspension stuff, that'll be super easy to do. Um, I do have a functioning e-brake except for right now I needed to put a new hook up there. Um, this is a Curry Universal kit. And it goes down and around right on top of the uh, control arm bracket. We put a uh, little tab on there and then yeah. So control arm wise we have metal cloak short arms for now. We got the full set. 
Um, these things are freaking awesome for short arms. It rides so much nicer than stock. Um, the guys at Metal Cloak are pretty cool too. Coming over here, we have a 1410 pinion yoke with an Adams drive shaft, which goes over to a JB conversion super short SYE. Um, I've had a lot of issues with this SYE, but uh, the company has been great about um, helping me out with it. They actually sent me out a complete new kit. But uh, anyway, I'm still having issues with it. And then right above me is a Magnaflow muffler to a dump. Um, I did the dump because there's not a lot of room to run a tailpipe out over here. So uh, kind of is what it is. Um, yeah, it's super dirty under here, but that's all right. And then over here, it's kind of hard to look under here. I wish I had a lift, but anyway. This is an undercover fab uh, quarter inch steel skid plate and I did get the matching engine skid over there. This is a super stout skid plate. I have absolutely scraped the whole Jeep on it. I actually yeah, just painted the whole thing so you can't really tell. Um, but yeah. Coming out over here. You can see the uh, safety cap that I had put on the whole center section. And then this one actually has the front section as well. We got Metal Cloak short arms up here as well, Bilstein 5100s. Um, oh, I guess I should mention that I'm running JK soft lines. They uh, mate right up to the uh, stock lines. Coming up here, we have the BDS coils. Again, Bilstein 5100s, I just said. We have a custom track bar there I'm gonna talk about this whole thing in another video if you're curious about the JK axle swap you should definitely stay tuned for a video like that um, coming out we have a synergy drag link and tie rod literally just a JK synergy kit um, it works fine we have stock brakes over there stock shafts for now this axle is sleeved um, and the TNT gussets don't actually fit with their truss, so those needed to be uh, modified a little bit. We have a PSC ram that I just finished up. Lines going over to a uh, stock 03 box. Anyway, we got the ARB cover. Um, Curry anti-rock, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's actually a super simple setup. I want to try and get the camera in here so anybody who's curious can take some looks and get a good look at everything. Under here, again, got rid of that Rezepa crap. 1410 yoke, Adams drive shaft, best in the business. You can't go wrong with them. I do have a new oil uh, transmission. Uh, oil skid plate thing whatever you call that thing it's escaping me and I have you can't see it up there but I do have a Novak cable shifter um, it just eliminates a whole lot of things and I guess also worth mentioning is that I have a one inch body lift um, so that allows for this skid plate to tuck up super super high and still allow the transfer case to transfer case to function normally And there you have it. This Jeep is like super basic, but honestly it gets the job done. And the best part about having a super basic setup is that if anything ever goes wrong, if anything ever goes wrong, cause it's so basic, um, the parts for it are just super easy to find and uh, you, it, you can easily fix it. And it's not like you have to custom duplicate a certain angle in your track bar or something like that, but whatever. It works for me. She's a daily driver-ish. I do have my truck now, but I love driving this thing on the road. And uh, it's been a great time.